The fate of the Egyptian aristocrat and later and Queen Nasli Sabri was very difficult and, for the most part, sad. However, like many fates of famous Oriental women, of course, where power and money reign, luxurious jewelry always sparkles. However, it seemed to me that every diamond in the treasury of the Egyptian beauty was literally washed with her tears of sadness and despair. Therefore, the story of her life and the collection of her fabulous jewelry are even more compelling to our attention. It seemed that this attractive and rich girl on the path of life awaits only happiness. And how could it be otherwise? Nasli was born at the end of the 19th century in a family of famous wealthy. Her father, the Minister of Agriculture in the Egyptian government, from a young age did not spare money for expensive clothes and jewelry daughter, and predicted her the best groom in the country. And so it happened, in 1919, a pretty 20-year-old brunette became the wife of King Fuad I. Her parents thought that their daughter would have a cloudless life as the wife of the ruler, with honors, receptions, the best kutcher dresses, and a sea of diamonds. But let's look at the other side of the coin, dark and gloomy. Fuad already had an older wife, was a mature man, and was fit to be a father to his chosen one. The ruler turned out to be a terrible despot, there was no end to insults, humiliation, and even abuse. The king directly threatened, if the woman does not give birth to an heir, she will not live. Fortunately, the heavens sent her her firstborn son, her long-awaited son, and three more daughters. Her imperial highness was indeed bathed in luxury. Diamond sets of numerous tiras, necklaces, earrings, bracelets and rings adorned our heroine at many royal events. When her son Farouk grew up, his mother was still an attractive sultaness that dressed according to the latest fashion, watched her hair and chose jewelry worthy of the best European princesses. In photographs of those years we see the queen not only with pearl earrings and a string of rings, but also with an exquisite pearl necklace, long, reminiscent of the style of the unforgettable Coco Chanel. In 1939 one of Nessie's daughters was preparing for her wedding, how was her difficult life at that time? After 17 years of hell, beatings and humiliation, the queen became a widow. I think she breathed a sigh of relief. Her spouse had passed away three years earlier than the wedding events. For the marriage of her daughter, the satisfied lady made a chic order from the jewelry firm Van Cleef and Arpels, a truly fabulous necklace of noble platinum studded with transparent diamonds. Such jewelry is called a collar necklace by its shape. In the center was a large crystal of six carats. It was surrounded by many wonderful stones with a total mass of 217 carats. At the end of 2015, the historical jewel appeared at the auction Sotheby's in New York. The beautiful lot was sold for an impressive sum of $4.3 million. But back to the fate of the owner of the jewelry, the Dowager Lord. She made a lot of effort, found the necessary papers confirming the fact that the heir to the throne Farouk has the right to leave the country a year before his majority. While the young man was growing up, in fact, the queen remained his mother. The heart of the Mecha beauty was free, and the first lady of the Egyptian state gave herself to an all-consuming but destructive passion. She had a colorful affair with her son's mentor, Ahmad Hassanin, the woman was not embarrassed by the nine-year age difference, nor by the fact that the lover actually took power into his own hands. Subsequently, Nasli, who had reached the free life, changed the hot homeland in distant Europe. And there she got another lackey, Alfonso and Weasel Riyad Ghali. Imagine that for the sake of a vicious connection, Nasli sold jewelry, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, pearls, in order to pay the salary of lover. Yes, yes, for a life with the former queen swindler received a salary. Unfortunately, he seduced and seduced her daughter Fafia. At that time, the whole family lived in America. As a result of family investigations, Nasli Sabri was stripped of her royal privileges. 
She lived to the age of 83, but forgotten by all, penniless, lonely, and died across the ocean in 1978. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the Jewelry Stories channel, and click on the bell not to miss new videos.